All right, I'm going to teach you how to create this really easy drop-down menu in um, Articulate Storyline. I actually have to give credit to um, Greg Damron because I got um, the idea from a file that he posted. He has an awesome, elegant way of creating a drop-down menu, and I am going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we are going to do is go to a blank slide. We're going to insert um, the first shape from our menu. So let's say we put a rectangle and I'm going to just call it item 1. And now let's say I'm just going to get rid of the outline and I'm going to create a hover state for my item. So we'll go to the states tab, create a new state. Uh, we're going to use a default, a built-in hover state and the hover state is going to actually just be um, a shade darker of blue and so now we're done the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually just make two copies of the shape that we just created and place them right underneath this is going to make our drop down menu So here we go. So we're just going to call it slide A because this will link to slide A. So I'm going to insert a trigger, jump to slide A, and I'm going to call this one slide B, and I'm going to also insert a trigger here to jump to slide B. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to select the whole menu item that we've created so far. We're going to copy it and now we're going to create a new layer which I'll call the drop down menu. And here we're going to paste um, the shape that we just copied. Now we can return to our menu um, layer and we can actually just get rid of the two um, of the two links that are in the drop down menu. And on this slide, we're going to add a trigger at the slide level. And we're going to say, um, let's see, we're going to say to show layer drop down menu when the state of our rectangle is set to hover. So this means that when somebody is hovering over this rectangle, we will show the drop down menu. So if we want to have a peek and just see how this is looking right now, we can do that. <clears throat> it's good to kind of test it at different parts of the process I find. So here we go. So now the only problem is that even when we're not hovering over the menu, it always stays on the screen. So the next step is going to show you how to prevent that. We'll go to our drop down menu layer. We're going to insert a rectangle shape that is just bigger than our menu items and we're going to add a trigger to this rectangle which is to hide this layer when the mouse hovers over the rectangle that we just created and we want to uncheck restore on mouse leave that is important and now I'm just going to format my shape I'm going to give it no fill and no line and the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to just send it to the back. And so now let's preview the scene. And as you can see, we hover over um, the menu and when we leave the menu, it disappears. So that is how you can easily create a drop down menu in Storyline.